Hey, hey everybody! everybody. <laughs> That's pretty much in sync. Yeah. Dirty pop. Um, dirty clap. We've got a special one today. Oh, you mean this regular old Buffalo Trace? Yeah, that's the one I I need. don't think so! Single barrel! <laughs> Single Select barrel. store pick! Yes. You know what I should have done? I should have brought the regular one so we could like taste them side by side. For another day. Yeah, we'll do it for another day. another day. Um, yeah, so we have the Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Everybody knows it and loves it. But we got the single barrel version here. Want to see the sticker up close? Sure. This one's a little gnarly. It's okay. Sticker. Oh, it looks great. Because I had to peel it off and... <laughs> Buffalo Trace, the guy at Buffalo Trace must have actually been uh, drunk on the job because he put the sticker like half hanging off down here and it was all crumbled because it was on kind of like the ridge here. Ridiculous. And then so I delicately and carefully extracted it. I hope somebody got fired. Oh, I sent a well thought out email, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> um, so anyway, so we picked up a couple of bottles of this um, because we have a bottle of this that we're giving away to our patrons. So um, this is a good time to plug our Patreon. For sure. Uh, we have several different tiers of donation. Um, we have the $1 tier, the $5, the $10, and then the $40 tier. And people might be like, whoa, $40, that's insane. What? But what we do for the $40 tier is we are sending samples of whatever we're going to be reviewing in the upcoming videos to yes. people. So they will actually be able to drink along with us. It's basically like a monthly dram club. Yeah, kind of the you know, same you idea. Get four drams or I don't yeah, know how many four, exactly, but four or more. Four drams a month kind At of thing. At least. Yeah. So, but you're going to be drinking the same stuff we are. So if you don't want to go out and buy a whole bottle or you can't get your hands on a single barrel Buffalo Trace, then you or just... whatever it might be. Yeah, you just join that level. Yeah. And then we'll be sending it to you. We'll send out those, um, I think it was 30 or 50 uh, milliliter... Whatever, you know, very whatever. similar to... No, uh, we don't have a... But, uh, anyway... So, um, our Patreon's pretty cool, and it also gives you access to, um, extra bonus live streams and extra video content and other stuff. Whatever, we're here to talk about Buffalo Trace. Good, fun stuff. Yes. Okay, so, um, we're here to, here to get this thing underway. Do you want to do it, or should I? I'll let you do the oh, okay. honest. Um, I did have to track this down. You yeah, know, I, I know, this is a good find, for this sure. This was actually brought in only to Vancouver, and mm. I called the liquor store, and I was like, hey... Can't we get any bottles here in Victoria? And they're like, eh, I don't know. And then they did end up bringing in a whole case of it into Victoria at my request. Yeah, and we picked up great. a couple and left a few behind for some other people. And uh, you got to leave a few behind for the people. For sure. And I actually posted it on the um, one of the Facebook groups, one of the local ones, and said, hey, guys, there's bottles of this at the Fort Street Liquor Store. And hopefully everybody got. Yeah, if you're interested. Hopefully everybody got a bottle. I'm sure they didn't have enough for everyone, but. This this is nice. It looks like the cork's been kind of a little wet, a little wet. So it's it's a good one. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> it's a sprayer. <laughs> it's a squirter. It's a squirter. We got a squirter. Uh, that was sort of a loosey yeah, loosey loose cork. Well, that's okay. Oh, I, s I smell delicious now. Oh, that's okay. great. May I? Yeah, please. Please. No, please. No, please do. I insist. Oh, this Lug, is our Lug, first Luggy, dram Lug. of the day, by the way. So. Sometimes setting our palate up for other things, this this I think will be a nice one. We we, we love Buffalo Trace. Sure we do. Like most of their products, all, all of their products that we've tried have been fantastic. Yeah. And this is you know the base model, so right. to speak, that sure. most people can get their hands on. But it's readily available everywhere. <coughs> the regular one. The regular nonsense. Uh, so though, yeah. we'll see what the kind of the big difference is in this one. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Oh. Buffalo yes. Trace Signature Cherry. Signature Cherry. Cherry Vicks. Slight, like medicinal, like the Vicks, like mm. you said. I was going to say a little bit nutty. Like just really light nuttiness to it. Almost some uh, light lemon zests in there. But this one's also got that creme brulee kind of like. Oh, yeah. Crack burnt through sugar. that burnt sugar and get into that mm. pudding and underneath. Creamy, too. Yeah. For sure. This is like a creme brulee through and through. Yes. Mm, just a nice brown sugar. That's so good. Mm, I feel like you could, for, <coughs> excuse me, for 45%, you can uh, 
which is a common percentage of alcohol in most right. bourbons, right? Right. But you're getting so much nose out of this guy. A lot of people feel like 45% is that sweet spot. Yeah. You know, for I, alcohol percentage. I kind of agree for the most part. Between you know? 45 and 50. 50 can even get a little bit hot at times. It can. Yeah. And, and with, especially in the world of scotch, sometimes scotch at 50% is like just not as it just, it's just a desirable. Bit too much, yeah. yeah. And I mean, we do love our barrel proofs and our cast strengths, but we're just saying for a drinker. Yeah. For a good, just a nice drinker, a nice sipper at 45%. Mm. Okay, well, let's get into yeah. the flavor here. Let's not take too long. Oh, yeah. The, the sweetness level on this is perfect. It's like, it arrives a with a little bit of spice. It's even big, bold sweetness in the middle. I was gonna say it's even a bit perfumey. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's got a <laughs> to it of of flavor. Wow. It's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes over it takes over the mouth wow. pretty good. Mmm, <laughs> really good. Really, uh, like quite mellow on the palate too. Sometimes, like when you have your first one of the day, mm -hmm. it's like a little bit takes your mouth to wake up. Yeah, it takes a bit to wake up. But I think I'm gonna have to chew on this one a couple more times. Yeah. Oh, I'm a big fan. This is this is a good barrel. Mm. Whoever picked this one for the BC liquor stores, I think I had her name. What was her name? I think I told it to you yesterday. We're trying to get an interview with um, Adele Shaw. Is her Adele name Adele Shaw? Oh, Adele yeah. Shaw is the portfolio manager for whiskey at the BC liquor store. And she does all the the big spirit release. So we'd love to get her on yeah. the channel and say like, what's your process? What, you know, how, what, do you, what steps do you go through to make your, your picks? Cause she has to make a lot of picks, man. For like, sure. I mean, she must spend a, the whole year leading up and knowing what's coming out and what's maybe yeah. rarer in BC that you can't get everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Um, or that you can't get in BC, but it might be readily available in the United States and that's things a, like that. That's an interesting topic because Yes, you might get a single barrel select bottling at yeah. your store, but whose palate are you trusting? Oh, well, exactly. I mean, I think uh, we tend to get ones that are for the BC liquor stores specifically, kind of the more typical ones that I think they're trying to please a lot of people, like Jack mm -hmm. Daniels right. or Wild Turkey, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But even within, but, within that distillery, that person has to go and pick that barrel. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so... Yeah. You're kind of trusting their palate, but like, what if you don't have the same type of palate as mm. that person? You might kind of be like, oh, this store, I never really, I mean, single barrels are most of the time going to be for, pretty for damn the, good. For the most part, they're going to be pretty good. Yeah. They're going to, I, who knows? Who knows how they go about it? That's why we got to interview her. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't specifically send that, <laughs> you know, it's specific for BC. It's just like, right. oh, here's, here's, here's a case a of single barrel. barrels, yeah. put a sticker on it. Yeah, true. Um, but back to this whiskey... One of the things I'm noticing now that we've had a chance to like sip on it a little bit is the actual oak influence on this seems to be oh, yeah. a little bit more um, influential in the after. Yeah, it is a little more prevalent on the uh, the back end. Mm. Nice spices and nuttiness. It's delicious so far. I'm Love loving it. it. Love it. And we're just at the neck. Great. I'm glad we have so much. You know, they stuff. say you you know it's hard, it's hard to trust a neck pour, uh, but you know what. Uh, if a neck pour is good from the beginning, it usually only gets better. That's true. Usually if I'm hesitant about a whiskey, it's because the first like quarter of the bottle yeah. and then it starts to either open up and get way better and you, or you get to know it a little bit more yeah. or your palate is different the next day you try it or whatever it might be. But if you have a first impression that is like, yes, this mm -hmm. is what I want, mm -hmm. chances are you're going to love it. Well, um, single barrel Buffalo Trace, we will do a full review at some point, but uh, initial mm. thoughts are a good score. Nice and, again, on the flavor, that creamy creme brulee brown sugars yeah. are there. Nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, check us out on Patreon. We'd love to see you at one of our private speakeasy live streams. Mm -hmm. We'd love to get you in on some of the draws. Maybe you can win your own bottle of this. Oh, yeah. Now that we know that it's good, we might just have to not give it away and just keep it. <laughs> exactly. Just kidding. You can have it. All right. All right. All right. Subscribe. Click like. See you guys soon. Cheers. A bit of a dull thud. Don't call me that. <laughs> That's good. It's really nice. That's really good. That's a nice starter dram. Let's try it. Cheers again for one more sound. <laughs>